Yep. Oh. Which touches cut number three. Stachi put pressure to Uchitachi. So Stachi's sword should be below, a little bit below uh, of the Uchitachi's sword. And from there, put pressure, 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 pressure. And we become I chew down, both chew down, and Uchitachi execute. Ski into Sugetsu, which is solar plexus. Now, not straight, uh, straight Suki, is you have to turn your sword to your left. So your blade should be facing down diagonally to the right. Okay, so sword to your left, blade should be facing diagonally to the right, like this. Okay, that's first ski from Uchitachi. Now, Uchitachi does her, uh, his jaw, and he's gonna ski back, boom, to the chest, okay? Now, you don't wanna get skied, so you take a step backwards onto the right foot, and when you do that, at the same time, drop your sword lower than your opponent's sword, and it, lift it up. Take center, okay? Take center of your, uh, take your center, and Kensaki should be pointing at the throat of your opponent, and you're gonna use shinogi, right shinogi of your sword, okay? And you protect your center from Uchitachi, no, Uchitachi's ski. Okay, that's very important. Now, uh, there, my way, uh, there are some ways to do so. Uh, I go up, but some sensei goes from here straight to the center. Now, please do follow your sensei's instruction from there. Now, important part is you point at the throat when you block, when you protect your center with your sword. Again, use shinogi. Common mistake, they do this. Okay, you don't want to turn your sword, you don't want to use the back of the sword to do so. Shinogi, which is the side of the uh, sword. Okay, and he, I cannot stop him. He's going to take another step forward, putting pressure. And now, onto the left foot, I'm going to take a back, uh, take a step backwards, lowering my sword below my opponent's. Okay, and now my sword is my right side, and do, do the same thing but opposite. Now I'm going to use the left side of the sword, a shinogi, and I'm going to protect my center. Now, Kensaki should be pointing at the throat, okay, and uh, we, uh, this, this movement is done. But still, I cannot stop. Uh, such is momentum coming towards me, so I give up. Now, from the left foot, I'm gonna take three steps backwards, relatively fast, okay? So he goes, one, two, three, okay? So this is the point I totally give up. My sword is sideways, and I cannot do anything, okay? So I'm going to start moving my sword up. That is the cue for him to take a step back to 
three, four, five. Stretchy takes five steps backwards. One, two, three, four, five. And Uchitachi waits until he's going to take one, two, third step. One, two, three. Together, go back to the center. So that is what you have to do. Now, again, it's very important to uh, protect your center with shinogi, shinogi and kensaki pointing at the front. Okay, from the beginning, make sure stretch is below your sword and come up. You execute your uh, ski, turn in your sword to your left, your uh, blade facing down. Okay. And he is going to uh, do nashi, and he's going to ski you back into your chest, lower your sword, protect your center point with the shinogi, right shinogi this time, okay, and pointing at the throat, and another one, same thing, and you give up, left foot, one, two, three, okay, and lift your sword up, one, two, one, two, three, and go back to the center. Okay, those are the uh, main points for Uchitachi. Okay, so Uchitachi, kata number three, so we take get up and come back to the center. Uchitachi's shinai sword, a bokto should be lower, a little bit lower than Uchitachi. Okay, and make sure when you do take uh, get up, around kneecap, okay, don't make it too high. Little, don't make it too low, okay, around kneecap. And I'm mean, stretchy, so a little bit lower than which touches sword. Okay, and I'm gonna put pressure, 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 pressure. And we come, this, the ki level, ki level is the same here. Okay, and then I'm going to execute, no, he's going to execute uh, ski towards uh, my solar plexus. Straight, yep. yeah, right. So now I'm gonna execute a uh, technique called nayashi. This is a bit difficult. So common mistake, common mistake is going yep. like that. What happens here is you, uh, go, you just move your sword to your left and your sword is facing that way. So it doesn't do anything. So both sword is going that way and now no one's sword is center. So Nayashi is kind of weakening. It means, literally it means weakening uh, the momentum. So what he's going to ski you, so what you do, stretch out your arms, at the same time, left foot back, and you're gonna pull in your sword, turning your sword to your left. Okay, so your blade is facing diagonally towards the right. And as stretch out, left foot back, okay, turn your sword to your left. And as you pull back your sword in, right foot back. So go like this. Okay, so that is called Nash. And you can keep your uh, hands relatively center. So you go one, two. Okay, one, two. So that is a moment, uh, that is a movement that statue needs to take. So solar plexus, yep. pom, like that, okay? Now, if you do it too hard, you lose contact, so you're gonna go, yep. pom, okay? And that might, I can keep my sword relatively center, and my hands are center, it's not off the center, okay? So now, I see the opening right here, okay? That's why I go for chest, uh, ski to chest. Oh, like this. Okay, now that's a ski. Okay, now second one is called kuraizeme. So it's not tsuki. You put pressure onto the same position, onto the left foot. Okay, and now you don't move your hands because it's not tsuki. Okay, now I'm gonna take three more steps forward. Uh, this is a li little bit faster. So go one, two, one, two, three. So uh, if you read instruction book, it says 
little faster. So you make sure you do the ski. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Tan, 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 tan. So you make sure you do the ski. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Tan, 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 tan. Okay, so a little bit faster, but again, uh, it depends on your partner. If you do too fast, you're gonna uh, stab your uh, partner's face. So you gotta be careful, okay? And also, when you go one, two, three, uh, you the first ski is chest, and he's gonna block, right? And the second one, put pressure on the chest, okay? And you, uh, Elevate your sword. One, two, three. It's not sudden uh, motion to the uh, between between the eyes. So when you go uh, the last three steps, last three yep. steps. Yeah. Four. Okay. Your chest, chest, and as you go, step one, two, three. Gradually elevate your sword. So you end up, you know where to end up, between knives, okay? And from there, okay, he, he gives up and he moves his sword. One, two, one, two, three, okay? So again, when you go backwards from here, he's not dead. Cut on number one, you, you killed your partner. Number two, only hand. Number three, you didn't hurt or you didn't kill your partner. Okay, we decided to live both together. So you gotta be careful when you go backwards. So go one, two, one, two, three. You keep keep zanshin awareness thinking, okay. Don't move, don't move, okay? So that, that's the pressure you have to uh, put. Okay, don't move, I can kill you if I want to. Don't move, don't move. Two, three, four, five. That feeling should be in there, okay? But anyway, that's a little bit higher level. Uh, make sure when you go backwards, okay, don't relax. You're still in the kata, one, two, one, two, three, okay? So that's uh, the main points for stachi to uh, pay attention to. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kendo for life.